At Boston Children's, your team is made up of a multidisciplinary group. While at other facilities, you might find that you're managed primarily by a pediatric cardiac surgeon and pediatric cardiology, or alternatively, a general thoracic surgeon. Here at Boston Children's, we include general surgery as well as cardiac surgery, in addition to other specialists who we think are relevant to your child's care. And that could include gastroenterology, pulmonology, ORL, which is like ENT at other facilities, and feeding teams, or really anyone else that your child's indicated to see here. In addition, within our program, we're trying to constantly grow and be innovative in our approach. So we started to implement standard follow-up plans, and that includes a one-week follow-up post-operatively, a four-week post-operative follow-up, as well as six months and one year. And we're, again, available to you any time in between that as well. The role of the general thoracic non-cardiac surgeon in this team is to help with the evaluation of the airway and esophagus predominantly, but also every member in the team has a role to look at the patient in a holistic manner, in a multidisciplinary fashion, where we could see beyond our own specialties and learn from each other and also try to make sure that nothing gets missed. Unfortunately, more common than not, patients with vascular rings have either predominantly been treated only by cardiac surgeons or only by general thoracic surgeons. And that often, although they may do a great job at their respective subspecialties, it often sometimes misses the entire patient or the entire picture of the patient in terms of what are their other symptoms associated with the vascular ring. And so our goal is to make sure that we see all those potential other circumstances to try to prevent or avoid the scenario where there could be recurrent or persistent symptoms after vascular ring division, if only the ring is addressed. What is the role of the cardiovascular surgeon with regards to vascular rings? So we're Every day we operate on vascular structures and are comfortable and familiar with dividing blood vessels and, and putting them in correct places and remodeling them in such a way that we can take care of the detrimental effects of abnormal blood vessels. So with vascular rings, these are often structures that have abnormally formed or causing compression on other structures such as the esophagus and or airway. So what we as a cardiovascular surgeon, we can bring the expertise, particularly of remodeling and moving those blood vessels around as to not affect the esophagus and airway. Then we can call on our colleagues that have an expertise in esophageal surgery to help us very specifically mobilize and work on the esophagus. And then while we're there, frequently we'll work on the airway together once we've removed the vascular compressive structure. And this is really a, a a very nicely coordinated effort. It's important to time things appropriately during surgery to remove and relocate vascular structures while also working on the esophagus and airway. My job is to help families and their local teams as they reach out for a second opinion to kind of guide them and explain what the process is of the second opinion. Helping them get imaging records and then once they receive the second opinion, if they have any questions about logistics, if they're deciding to come to Boston Children's for care, I can assist with that and just any questions that are non-clinical that come up along the way.